What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at the new Naturia, Naturia cards, and uh, I'll take a look at the, the three new ones announced, and then like I normally do, I'll go over every other card in the archetype. Honestly, was surprised at how many cards there were. Uh, more main deck, monster support than Dark Magician. I was just looking over at the side there. Uh, obviously not overall. There's more Dark Magician support cards, but... You would think with this many cards, like, you could probably make a deck out of it, but I've never, ever seen it before. I've seen the extra deck monsters, um, as most people probably have. This is a great card. Like, this stops traps, and then this stops both of them. So, normally a target for that trap, I can't think of the card's name, but when it's destroyed, you get to special summon, like, basically any monster for free. Everyone, not everybody, but a lot of people go for this one. So, it'd be interesting if you could actually hard make it. Because, uh, yeah, it's actually a very good card. Uh, okay, so this is Naturia Kamalia. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Naturia card from your deck to the graveyard. If you attribute a monster to activate a Naturia uh, monster's effect, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard instead. If your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can special summon one Naturia monster from your graveyard. Uh, you can only use each effect of Naturia Kamalia once per turn it's unfortunate like that you're depending on your opponent if your opponent normal special summons a monster i mean that's cool right it's a free summon but that would depend on your opponent like basically doing it during your turn right because if if you have this on the field and you bring something back when your opponent's playing they're just going to get rid of those cards anyway so it doesn't really feel like that's very useful I'm sure some of these have good graveyard effects, you know, I think that's not the idea. And even if there aren't that many, like, good ones now, like, this Foolish Burial is a very good effect. So if they were to make, like, actual good support, you know, I'm sure it would have something to do with the graveyard. I don't know which one of these tributes, but uh, I, I like the, the card mechanic of this, because that's how the extra deck monsters work. You send the top two cards um, of your deck to the graveyard, so pretty neat synergy there. Um, decent start for sure. Okay, this is Naturia Mole Cricket. <laughs> Interesting. This is not a tuner. Uh, during the main phase, quick effect, you contribute this card. Special summon one Naturia monster from your deck. Or if your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, even if tied, you can special summon two instead. If your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, or you special summon a Naturia monster from your extra deck while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. You can only use each effect. Okay, so you get to use both. But this one says, right, like, you can send the top two card. Yeah, if it would tribute, so that would be cool. So you just wouldn't have to tribute this card. Cool synergy. I also love that this archetype is plants and insects. I think that's cool. Like, it just kind of, it's not like like only one of the, like, the types, even though it, it probably could be, like, it, it could all be considered, like, insects. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it's very good. So the first two cards, not too bad. Uh, this is Naturia Spring Breeze. Activate one of these effects. Special summon a Naturia monster from your hand or graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves. Okay, I mean, that makes a little more sense now. Um, synchro summon using monsters you control, including a Naturia monster. Or you can fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion material, including a Naturia monster. I almost wish you could, like, banish from the graveyard for fusion material, because it would be really cool... Because there are two specific ones. Because, like, you're sending cards to the, the top of your deck to the graveyard. So if you could send, like, something that substitutes itself. I know there's, like, a few of them. Uh, I think if I just look up... Yeah, I'll just look at it real quick. Substitute. One of them was being used a little bit in Fallen Malbaz for a while. Uh, this is the one that was being used. Like, Hexlight or Hexseal. Uh, it's like, if you could send something like that, then you could use it. But, I don't know. As it is now, probably just not... Um, maybe, I guess you could, like, normal summon it, but you wouldn't want to normal summon that. It was close to being, like, a really good card, because otherwise, like, I don't know, it's going to be, it has to be hard, right, to summon both of these out. I mean, that's just kind of silly to me. It's a, it's a weird pipe dream, but at least you get to quick effect synchro summon if you can get this guy out in the field. Okay, so here are all the other cards. Let's see if any of them are good. This is Naturia Stag Beetle. Oh, it's like a level 6. Okay. Once per turn during the battle step or damage step of this card's attack, 
When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can select one Nidoria monster in your graveyard. Special summon that monster from the graveyard. This just feels like an old card. I don't know. It's like it's weirded strangely. So it has to be during the battle step or the damage step. Like that's so specific. It's just yeah, it's just a random card. Okay, so this is the one I did know about. I don't even know if I really know what it does, but Naturia Bamboo Shoot. If this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Naturia monster, while this card remains face up on the field, your opponent can activate spell or trap cards. Okay, so it's like a it's like a floodgate. This No, it has to be tributed, right? Tribute summoned. I mean this is like just more possible, I guess. At least in theory. Although they really don't even have a they still don't have a free special summon, right? Okay, well, that's one of these should say like tribute summon too, actually. For sure. Uh like one of these effects should like I would rather even like than the monster reborn. Well, I don't know. But this is like really powerful. I feel like you just can't use this card like in regular Naturia now because it seems like oh they want you to go towards the synchro summon side versus kind of like the tribute summon side. At least with this, that's what this support says, which is kind of unfortunate. It's only two thousand attack, so you know it's pretty easy to get over, but it does have a really good effect. And it sucks it has to be tribute summon too. What are you gonna do? Um, that's unfortunate because I feel like that's probably like the best card in the deck. This is Naturia Hydrangea. Hy Hy Hydrangea. I'm probably saying that terribly. Uh, okay, if the effect of Naturia Monster Control was activated during this turn, you can spell some of this card from your hand. All right. I like it. <laughs> I feel like it's a trick question. Nope, just an extender. Cool beans. That's a good card. Uh, so, okay, this is Naturia Spider Fang. This card cannot declare an attack unless your opponent activated his spell trap or monster effect. All right, random. Naturia White Oak. When this card is targeted by an opponent's card effect, while you, or you can send this card you control to the graveyard to special summon two level four lower Naturia monsters from your deck. They cannot declare an attack and are destroyed during your end phase. Wow, like I feel like that would, like that's a good effect. Uh, but hmm kind of feels like a card that you can just that should just say you could tribute this card to do that effect but alas it's nichely bad okay this is naturia horn needle when your opponent special summons a monster you contribute one face up naturia monster you control except this card to destroy that special summon monster interesting Sucks it only is 800, 1800 attack. Feels like this should definitely be like a 2k body. Because at least, it, like at the very least, it could stand up to like a brave token. Which I know sounds like random and specific, but it's obviously a very realistic thing that can happen. Well, I guess they out the brave token. This is like, this is not bad, right? This is not bad. It negates special summons, so it's, it's pretty good. Well, I guess it's that after successful summon, but yeah, that's that's uh, there's definitely a use in this in some universe for Naturia. This is Naturia Mantis. When your opponent normal summons a monster, you can send one Naturia monster from your hand to the graveyard to destroy that monster. Oh, see, some of these like yeah, some of these are like actually not bad. You have the, I mean, theoretically, you have these two, right? Like, you stop the normal summon, and then you can just tribute. So, kind of cool. Like, I would definitely summon these two out. That's, like, pretty good disruption. Although, it's just really unfortunate. I feel like, yeah. Although, yeah, I mean, you can get one of them, at the very least. So, but it's just, it's weird that they can't, like, don't like that these don't special summon themselves. I feel like the new support should definitely be on that wave some sort. But... All right. Uh, Naturia Strawberry, once per turn, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster, target one of those monsters. This card gains 100 attack. All right. Uh, Naturia Guardian, when your opponent normal summons a monster, this card gains 300. 
Naturia Cliff is a weird looking card. <laughs> when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can spell summon one level four lower Naturia monster from your deck in face up attack position. Oh, very nice. Yeah, sick. That's great. Because you can just use it for a synchro summon and then bring something out. Thumbs up. There are a few good cards. I thought there would be like way less. For some reason, I thought I would just read through all of these and they'd all be bad. They're not, though. They're not. Naturia Pumpkin. When this card is. Normal summoned. If your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon one Naturia monster from your hand. Don't, I mean, decent side deck choice, I guess, but I don't know. Are you really siding this? Are you using three of your side deck spots for that? I, probably not. Probably not. Uh, this is Naturia Dragonfly. This card cannot be destroyed at battle with a monster that has 2,000 or more attack. This card gains 200 attack for each Naturia monster in your graveyard. All right. I mean, let's just... Not really going to help you in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Naturia Beetle. Switch the original attack and defense of this card each time a spell card is activated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> These have some goofy effects. Naturia Ragweed. When your opponent draws a card, except during the draw phase, you can send this face-up card you control to the graveyard to draw two cards? Oh, unfortunate. Except during the draw phase? Lame. You can play this with Generator and force your opponent to draw a card. Is that bad? Is that bad? Because isn't one of the uh, generators a plant? It doesn't it do plant stuff. Things to think about. <laughs> uh, a generator Naturia deck? Because that'd be kind of sick, not going to lie. Your opponent, like, draws a card. You know, you get, a like, a generator monster. We will see. Uh, okay, Naturia Rock. When a trap card is activated, you can send the top card... Of your deck to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Meh, that's just a little slow. Naturia Marin. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one Naturia monster from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target two Naturia monsters in your graveyard, shuffle both those targets to the deck, then draw one card. That's cool. I mean, at least you're giving yourself, like, <laughs> half of the uh, effect right off the bat. So you only need one other in the graveyard to draw a card if you have to in a desperate situation. So far, I don't think I've read anything that is, like, they're good in the graveyard. So it's kind of funny that they all send, like, there's so many cards that send them. But there's still other cards, of course. Naturia Fruit Fly. All face-up monsters your opponent controls lose 300 attack and defense for each face-up Naturia monster you control. Once per turn, you can select one face-up monster your opponent controls with zero defense and take control of it until the end phase. <coughs> I don't think... I don't think this counts for Link Monsters because it, I don't think it has a defense. So it, it wouldn't have zero defense. I'm sure that's how it has to work. I'm sure. But I, I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, everything pretty much has defense. But that, that's just really niche. If it did work against Link Monsters, maybe a different story. But even then, probably not. Like, what Link Monster do you really need to take, right? It does say select, so it doesn't target. That's kind of neat, though. If there's a way you could make all of your opponent's monsters like zero defense, like a field spell or something, that'd be pretty cool. Like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe they lose a thousand defense for every Naturia monster you control. That way it's like, you know, you gotta put a little bit of work, but most of them would be zero defense. You could use this card. I could see that happening. This is Naturia Butterfly. Once per turn, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and negate that attack. It's a soft once per turn, but I feel like it doesn't even need to be. I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> is battle phase prevention really an OP effect? Like, I really don't think it needs to be a once per turn. Because, so, like, not, you wouldn't use it. You may consider using it, you know, if it wasn't, which would be pretty funny. But, like, there's just so many. Like, like I said, like, uh, I know you don't want to. You have to be careful with non once per turn effects, but, well, I guess so. Who knows? There's probably some, like, weird FTK you could do by, like, milling you. Forcing your opponent to attack, like, mill or something. Who knows? Uh, okay, this is Notoria Rose Whip. Oh, yeah. So this is a card that's been around, I think, for um, a couple weeks now for those um, those uh, seed decks. Sunvine or something like that. I, I can't think of the name right now. Sun Avalon. Uh, this is, like, a card they, like, you know, bring out at the end or search it during at some point during the turn. Because your opponent can only activate a spell or trap once, which is pretty good. Like, 
a lot of these Notorious have like really good floodgate effects, like uniquely good. And this is definitely one of those. So a good card. Uh, this is Notorious Stink Bug. When a face-up Notorious monster you control is selected as an attack target, you can send this face-up card you control to the graveyard to negate the attack and end the battle phase. As funny as that is, it's you know it's probably just not good. Um, Naturia Eggplant. When this card is sent to the from the field to the graveyard, you can select one Naturia monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. <sighs> That's not bad. I wish it would like just special summon it back. That would be super sick. But maybe, but probably not. Like like you would add this in a, in a deck. Uh, Naturia Cosmo ba Beat. <laughs> when your opponent normal summons or sets a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Again, not bad, but a little too slow. When you control this face-up card, it, each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card, all face-up Naturia monsters you control gain 500 attack. Meh. Naturia Sunflower, you can tribute this card and one Naturia monster to negate the activation of an effect of an effect monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Which is good, because you can actually just like normal summon this, and when your opponent would activate an effect, right? If it would tribute send the top two cards of your um, deck to the graveyard instead. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and it's not even a... Wow, wait. Is it... Would you send the top four? Because isn't that crazy? This is like a... This isn't even a one... This is not a once per turn. If you could find a way to protect this, you could tribute this card... Yeah, this is this not unlimited negates? Am I wrong? I don't know. That's pretty crazy. If that's true, uh, this is Naturia Antjaw. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can special summon one level three or lower Naturia monster from your deck. Ah, it sucks. They have so many cards that do that. Like only, like depend on your opponent. That just sucks. Uh, this is Naturia Beans. <laughs> Beans. Uh, once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. When this face up card is selected as an attack target, inflict five hundred damage to your opponent. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, this is Naturia Pineapple. I'll face it, monster you control, or treat it as plant type. All right, sure. During your standby phase, if you do not control a face up Naturia Pineapple, and you have and have no monsters in your graveyard except plant or beast type, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. You must not control any spell or traps. That <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh, just don't even bother. Don't even set, don't even give it a special summon effect. It's just come. This is a little too much, man. A little too much. Uh, Naturia Vein. You can tribute this card and one Naturia monster to negate the activation of your opponent's spell or trap, and destroy this card. Again, does this not mean that if you have this? Because this is an if you attribute. Oh, you can only use each effect. I was gonna say that would be crazy. That would be so crazy if this was not a once per turn. Uh, is it? A, yeah, you can only. It's a hard once per turn too. Fair enough. I got really excited for a second for no reason. It's still not like horrible, but obviously much worse now. Much worse. You should be able to synchro summon using cards from your from your graveyard. That's just like, come on, dude. Like a, a Notoria monster, like just lock it into something like that. <coughs> Maybe is that the greatest thing ever? Maybe, but you'd have to use Notoria monsters. I don't know. I don't know. Notoria mosquito. When you control another face up Notoria monster, your opponent cannot select this card as an attack. I like all right. Naturia Cherries, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by your opponent's card, you can special summon up to two Naturia Cherries from your deck in face down defense position. Okay. Uh, this is Naturia Ladybug. When you synchro summon a, syn a Naturia Synchro Monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. During your main phase, you can tribute this card and select one face up Naturia Monster you control that gains a thousand attack. Well, like this, I okay. Finally, one card that would be great to send to the graveyard. <laughs> it's just the one target in the deck. That's good. I mean, that's crazy. Fair enough, but uh, wild, wild stuff. That this is really kind of the only one. Oh, okay. Um, Barky and Sparky. You can if you, 
Activate only if you control a face up maturity monster. Your opponent can activate trap cards this turn. Sucks that it's not like a quick effect. Uh, this is Leo Drake's main. Select one face up maturity monster you control. Its attack becomes 3,000 and its effects are negated until the end phase. Lame. Landios's Luminous Moss. Activate only if you control a face up maturity monster. The, the opponent's effect monsters cannot activate their effects this turn. Again, not a quick. I mean, that's like. That's not terrible. Kinda. As a going second card, you like normal summon a Toria monster. And then you activate Luminous Moss. It's like a bad skill. It's like a bad, not skill drain. Uh, Dark Ruler No More. That can be negated like pretty easily. So you probably just don't play it. Uh, Notoria Forest. So I don't, they do have a field spell. If you negate the activation of a card your opponent controls, you can add one level three or lower Notoria Monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. That's not a once per turn, huh? All right, I'm starting to. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down. That's a good field spell. So you have like a you have a couple of these out on the field, right? Ideally, you have like as many as possible, and maybe it is possible through like different plant combos. Like instead of like doing good stuff, you do Naturia stuff instead. Like maybe that's a thing, and you can negate the first effect. Right, boom, negated, add. So you didn't lose any cards yet and you just added and then the second one you do tribute it and you get to add another one I think that's pretty fair I like that this is Naturia's Sacred Tree let's continue his trap if this card is sent to the graveyard add one Naturia card from your deck to your hand hmm. except a copy of itself you can only use one of the following effects of this card once per turn and only once that turn you can tribute one earth insect type monster, plus summon one level four or lower earth plant type monster from your deck. Okay, you can tribute one earth plant type monster, plus summon one level four or lower earth insect type monster from your deck. Um. Yeah, I think you just have to. I think you play like one cop, maybe two, two copies, and then. Because you definitely like you would want to play foolish burial goods because that's the like the easiest way to get it to the graveyard. Um, is it like are you willing to like see it in your opening hand? I mean, it's a at least it's a continuous trap, right? It, it could be pretty good. It, it could be. It, it would definitely take some play testing. Um, this is Exterior's Fang. Activate only if you control a face up Naturia monster, and have at least one card in your hand. Okay, the activation of opponent's spell and trap card. And destroy it. Then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Oof, jeez. <laughs> That's crazy. Wouldn't you would you would think it would be monster effect, right? You would think it would be like specifically because that's the extra deck monsters negate spells and traps. That's the whole point of their extra deck. So this also does spells and traps? Very random. Okay, I've never read like half of these Maturi extra deck cards. Two Earth Synchros. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets exactly one card on the field and no other cards, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible card. Uh, Naturia Exterio. A fusion summon of this card can only be conducted. It lets you negate spells and traps, like, infinitely. That's a good card. <laughs> this is just a plane. I knew this was, like, a vanilla synchro. Naturia Landos. Okay. I don't know if I said that right. Landois, Landios. Uh, when this card is face up on the field, you can send one spell card from your hand to the graveyard to negate the activation of an effect, monster's effect, and destroy it. When this card is face up on the field. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's good. Dude, imagine if this said, like, monster. Whew, you would literally have an. It would be an infinite loop. Uh, that's not terrible, but it's unfortunate for sure. So, Naturia, Barkeon negates traps, and then this negates spells, of course. That sucks so bad. So, so bad. Grow up, Konami. Give us a retrain. Uh, but uh, overall, it's, a, it's better than I thought it was, 100%. The new support's, like, not bad. It's definitely pretty good, but it needs a lot more. It needs free special summons. It needs free bodies. 
and maybe that'll come and like if it does who knows like i definitely could uh, be interested in playing this deck seems pretty cool uh with some like weird floodgates but uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below other than that that's going to do it for today's video and i will see you guys next time